Here's how to do a simple application, the very basic application in Visual Basic. We've already set up a project. I'm going to change the name of my form. And I'm going to come in here and change this to Super Calculator. All right. And I, I want to do uh, a calculator that's width. It'll get width and length from the user, and then it'll, it'll calculate volume. So let's bring out some labels here. I have a label. I'll bring out some labels. That would be my length, my width, and here's my total. I'm also going to show the title as a label so people don't think that they can input the... Uh, the area, the finished area in there. So I'm going to just go in and change this to width. Now notice a nice trick here is if I'm on text, this property, when I go to label 2, I can just type, start typing. And it stays in that, in that property. And this will be area. Nothing yet. We'll just put that in there. OK. So now let's go get some text boxes. I'll scroll down here to text box. And I'll add a text box here. And another one here. And now I can start rearranging things. I'm going to re-label this. I'm going to call it total area. And then here's my results. Oh, I have to name these. So I'm going to name this, go to my name, and I'm going to call this text width. This would be text length. And that's going to be text total or text area. Sorry, text area. So those are my three pieces of data. And we'll bring in a button. I'm going to call this button calc. And the text is going to be if you put an ampersand, then it'll it'll do a hotkey automatically. So there's my calculate button. Make it a little bit bigger, more a little bit more friendly. All right. Now I can go back into my code right mouse click view code here I'm in my code and I can do this drop down and I can say when the person clicks on this button so there's my button and here's my event so I want the click event and you can see it that Visual Studio automatically made a subroutine so now all I have to say is text area and assign it to the value of text length. And you can see Visual Studio already knows what we have here. Times text hot width. So inside of my subroutine I'm going to take 
the text length times the text width, and then I'm going to store the results into text area. Now I have a blue line here. I have an error line that says it's not defined. Well, this is just the object, so I have to tell Visual Basic what part of the object I want. So I want the text that's inside that text box. And you can see we have lots of different options here. Same thing with the text width. I want the text inside of that. And I'm going to multiply those two, and then I'll store those inside the text area of, of the area where the results are. So I'll save my form. I'll go up here to the debug arrow, and I'll run it, the green debug arrow. And I'll put in my width, my length, and click the Calculate button, and that puts my answer in there. So we ran this little piece of code. So I'm going to do just a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to go back to my form. I'm going to change this nothing yet, and I'm just going to make it empty. And you know that is a label, so we should we should call it a label. So we know that. And if we do that, then we have to go back into here and and change it in our code. So let's go back into our code and oh it changed it automatically. Excellent. So I'll go back to my and I also want to put a default value in here for my testing. So this is a really important thing to do. So I'm going to put a default value of 4 in here and in here I'm going to put a value of 5 and now when I run the program, I can just click once. I don't have to type, and I can see my answer. So this is a really smart idea is to put default values in your fields. Later on, when you complete a, an application and you put it out in the market, then you would take these out. But this is great for testing because it saves you a lots of time. All you have to do is hit Enter. So there's a quick application showing you how to use your your display window as well as your code view and how to build those subroutines really quickly.